Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India start this lecture with a thought process from Peter Atkins. Chemistry begins in the stars. The stars are the source of the chemical elements which are the building blocks of matter and the core of our subject. So, that is his belief, but of course, one can question it uh, that one. Um, let us uh, you know if you recall that uh, in the last lecture, we talked about Arrhenius form of reactions and then its limitation and keep in mind that you should not use that for a very long range of temperature. However, the temperature range is not too long, you can use it and we have seen how we can evaluate the activation energy provided you know the specific reaction rate constant at two different temperature. Generally, people use of course, the several of temperature and then uh, put a, a curve fitting and then do that. right? It is not that they will take two points and then calculate, no. First they will curve it the data and then they will calculate what will be the activation energy provided it is linear in nature and if it is not little bit deviation they will make it linear. So, uh, now let us uh, look at uh, you know elementary reactions because in case of elementary reactions the reaction occurs at a molecular level. right? and um, we are taking an example OH is reacting with hydrogen and leading to water and H and keep in mind that H is a radical and OH also a radical. And uh, we have seen that molecularity we had discussed earlier, but I want to again discuss this thing and uh, because um, you know it is important to learn what is the difference between the molecularity and the order of reaction. So, in molecularity basically number of molecules or atom that participate in each reaction leading to a product. right? And let us consider uh, some of the you know um, reactions which is unimolecular and then uh, like for example, N 2 O 5 is decomposed in N 2 O 4 and oxygen. In this case, the reaction the molecularity is for this reaction is only one that is why you call it as a unimolecularity. And bimolecular reactions if you consider CO 2 is reacting with hydrogen going to water and carbon monoxide the two molecules are participating leading to a product. So, therefore, we are calling it as a bimolecular trimolecular of course, three molecule will be uh, reacting to getting into a product right. In this case carbon monoxide reacting with O with the third body which is not participating, but however, without that reaction may not occur and that is CO 2 plus M. right? And uh, keep in mind that for elementary reaction right? and these are uh, not really elementary reaction, this is the elementary reactions. For elementary reaction what will be the you know molecularity? For example, this is like uh, in this elementary reaction two molecules are reacting. So, therefore, molecularity will be 2. So, can I have a uh, elementary reaction where molecularity will be 5 or 4 right. So, generally it is not true General, generally for elementary reaction molecularity will be always less than equal to 3. Okay. Beyond that it is not possible for elementary reaction. Whereas, for uh, you know global reactions which is hypothetical reactions so that I mean theoretic I mean like what we assume there you can have <coughs> right. So, whereas, order of reactions talk about the um, you know will be different than the molecularity because that will tell you that whether the reaction rate will be dependent on the concentration and the what is its power right coefficients right power. For example, if I consider this N 2 O 5 leading to N 2 O 4 and half O 2 in this case reaction rate what it would be? 
it would be the the change in constant of N2O5 divided by dt is equal to minus Kf N2O5. If I say this is your Kf, right? That means in this case order of reaction will be one, right? Order of reaction, right? Order of reaction will be one. and molecularity is also one right so but uh, molecularity uh, need not to be order of reaction for all the reaction for you know reactions that might be this is a one example where it is looks to be same but need not to be same all the time so let us uh, consider the first order reactions which we have already seen that o2 is reacting with 2o right and in this case the what will be uh, dc if i take dc o2 by dt if i say this is kf is equal to minus kf c o2 right so this is basically first order reactions so similarly you can consider s2 going to the 2h which is then reaction rate will be dch2 divided by dt is equal to kf d h2 and that also you can write on equal to a half dch by dt right and keep in mind this is being consumed therefore there is a negative sign and dh is being produced therefore this is a positive sign right And if I consider this portion only, right, what I can write down, right, I can uh, integrate that and uh, separating the variable, I can write down dCH2 by CH2 is equal to nothing but Kf dt. And I will integrate this thing 0 to t time here, right. Okay. So, I will get ln C H uh, t is equal to 0 to t and k f t at uh, this thing. Then I can uh, what to call get a relationship ln C S 2 O divided by ln C S 2 k f t. Keep in mind that plus there will be a constant right. Okay. So, in this case if you look at this will be uh, minus l n c s 2 is equal to k f t plus is equal to constant right right at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 what it will be c h 2 will be nothing but c s 2 comma right at the initial state right so therefore the constant is coming so, if I will apply this one, then this is nothing but your C S 2 at this condition, this will be C S 2 O. So, and this will be T, right, this will be T, T is nothing but 0, right, at T is equal to 0, this I am talking about. Then simply C is equal to L n C H 2 at 0 this will be little capital right. So, from that you can get ln C S 2 O divided by C S 2 at time t is equal to nothing but K F t right. Now, if you plot this thing you will get basically uh, slope that is the minus K F right. And at time is equal to t what is this value this is nothing but your corresponding to l n c s 2 naught at time t right and as it goes uh, the time this is being reduced kind of things. So, you can get basically uh, you know how does the hi hydrogen uh, you know concentration is changing with respect to time you can uh, find it out very easily if it is a first order reaction. Keep in mind that in this case the hydrogen concentration decreases exponentially with time 
of course, this is plot in L n, but if I plot C s 2, so it will very clear, it will be exponentially uh, you know uh, changing or decreasing with time, all unimolecular reactions obey the first order kinetics. Right. For example, this is a unimolecular oxygen going to the O2, right. this is a unimolecular reaction. But all first order reaction need not to be unimolecular, right. there might be a uh, two molecules will be participating, but however, there might be a situation where some uh, reaction will be first order in nature. Right. So, now <coughs> and that will be occurring particularly when the one molecule concentration is uh, too large to be changing with respect to time, then you can have. Uh, for example, if I say A is reacting with B going to C plus D, right? if I say this is K F, I can write down D C A by D T minus is equal to K F C A and C B. Right. So, if C B is too large, right, it is not really changing with respect to time, then this will be nothing but your K F, right. of course, uh, this will be uh, you know uh, C A. So, although this is basically uh, kind of two uh, molecules are there and then this will be, but it will be only constant with K F 1 I can say. So, therefore, this is a uh, and that is possible will be C V is very very greater than C A. So, therefore, it will be unimolecular reaction. In this case molecularity is what basically 2, right, but however, the order of reaction is 1 order of reaction will be 1, first order reaction, but the molecularity in this case is 2. So, now let us look at second order reactions, right. Let us say that hydrogen is reacting with the iodine and going to hydrogen iodide, 2 hydrogen iodide and reaction rate if you look at this is nothing but d c s 2 d t is equal to minus k f c s 2 c i 2. And uh, if I write down general second order reaction, we can look at a plus b going to the c and d with uh, reaction rate uh, you know specific reaction k f this is a forward reaction. So, concentration of species right. So, uh, if you look at this, this is basically reaction rate will be d c a by d t minus will be k f c a c b. Right. Let us assume that uh, c x you know is the uh, things which is changing with respect to time of the concentration a and b then C A of concentration will be C at initial, when C A is basically at t is equal to 0, C A will be C A initial, right. And similarly, C B will be C B initial. And then that is C B will be C B i n minus C x. C x is what? The concentration which is changing with respect to time, right and that C B is C A is basically a uh, C A initial minus C X all the time C X is changing, right. But C A is initial constant then C A is basically changing with respect to time. And keep in mind here we are considering for the simplicity say that both C A and C B is changing with the same concentration, but we need not to be true all the case, right. But in this case, we are taking because to make it little simplify the thing. Reaction rate above this constant will be d c x by d t, right, is nothing but your d, d a i in minus c x into k b d c x by this thing, right. 
because we are saying that how it is changing like this is nothing but uh, if you look at this is I can write down as x right changing. Now, what we will do we will basically multiply that thing with the both the side C b into minus C a 1 right. So, if you look at earlier we had seen that uh, minus d c x by d t is equal to k f c a in minus c x into c b in minus c x right minus d c x divided by C A in minus C x into C B i in minus C x is equal to K f d t. And then in here I will multiply it by it C C B in minus C A i in and uh, in this side also I will multiply it as C B in minus C A i in right. So, both the side left and right hand side I am multiplying that is nothing but this one. Now, this case I can write down as as what I can write down here I can write down as 1 by C A in minus C x minus 1 by C B in minus C x right. Of course, there will be minus sign here D C x is equal to K F C B in minus C i in into D t right. Yes or no? So, then I will integrate it. If I will integrate this thing, I will get this integrating uh, for thing and this is basically 0 to t I can write down right. So, initial condition if you look at at t is equal to 0 what will be c x? c x will be 0 is not it because there is no change in the concentration right of that. So, uh, right uh, at t is equal to 0 c x will be 0 and then if it is 0 this thing uh, what I will be I will be getting this will be at t is equal to 0 this will be 0 right and uh, this will be 0 this will be 0 right. So, I can get basically in this case what I will get I will get l n right. Uh, constant is equal to l n c b i n by c a i n right is not it that will get because this constant this is 0 this is 0 that is nothing but l n b. So, if I substitute over this in this constant this equation let us say this is equation 1 right then I will get k f as is equal to 1 over C A i n minus C B i n t right this portion is L n uh, this portion right into C B i n divided by C A i n. So, this I will get a expression right and of course, these are all known C B in i all are known and C x uh, if I know this concentration I can measure with respect to time then I can find out you know what will be how this you know k f right. So, uh, by this you can find out uh, the uh, relationship for the k f with respect to c and if I know this k f you can also find out how this c x will be varying with respect to time right. So, there are uh, several you know second order uh, combustion reaction which will be taking place in the elemental level if you look at like these are the reaction O H is reacting with hydrogen getting into water and H atom and C O plus ozone getting into C O 2 and 2 O 
and O is reacting with hydrogen getting into OH plus H and H is reacting with O2 getting into OH plus O and of course, this OH is reacting with methane getting into water and CST. Of course, some of the examples I have given here, there might be several of them which will be you know uh, there in the case. So, let us uh, now look at the third order uh, reactions. So, let us consider the third order reaction this is a tri molecular reaction right 2 NO is reacting with oxygen getting into 2 NO 2 this we had already discussed. So, if you uh, write down this reaction this is basically 2 C NO 2 D T is equal to 2 K F right C N O 2 and C O 2 right because this is being formed therefore, there is no negative sign and uh, this reaction rate uh, keep in mind that this is proportional to right uh, third power of concentration right of the participating species therefore, this is the third order reaction right because this is a two uh, index and then this is one. So, basically three. So, therefore, and a third order combustion reactions uh, some of the examples I have shown here that is H O uh, reacting with O getting in uh, and also with a third body and becomes O S 2 plus M H O plus O H O 2 okay. this will be H O 2 plus M and H 3 H is reacting getting into hydrogen plus H right 2 N O reacting with uh, O 2 getting into 2 N O 2 right. So, these are the third order reaction what we will be uh, considering and in the next lecture what we will be discussing we will be basically discussing about the reverse reaction and how to handle those things and later on we will be looking at the chain reactions right. So, with this we will stop over here thank you very much.